Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Amani Jalina. And as you can see from the title, this video is gonna be all about business credit. Business credit is super essential when it does come to your business because it'll allow you to open up different lines within your business and have different lenders and so much more but before we get into this video don't forget to thumbs up this video if you do find it interesting or if you do like it and then don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from myself Currently, all of my website services, so if you would like a website designed by myself, they typically run for $300, but right now they are on sale for $99. So if you would like a website designed by myself for your business, go ahead and check the description box and click the link. When you are in the process of building your business credit, the reason you want to have good business credit is because... And if you're familiar with my videos, you know the drill. I'm looking at my phone. This is where all the notes are. Having good business credit will position your, your company for more favorable payments, agreements with new vendors and suppliers. And that basically means it allows your company to have a great reputation or a better reputation with different uh, business bureaus and then also different lenders. It also reduces the number of times you will need to prepay for products and or services. So have you guys ever heard of something called a secured card? Well, a secured card is basically a credit card that you can sign up for, but you have to put the money on there. So let's say if you have a $300 limit on one of your secured cards, when you open up that particular line of credit, you have to then give them $300 to add to your account and that's for maybe if some reason you don't pay them back they'll use that $300 to cover that payment when it's time for them to close your account so it's basically them allowing you to have a credit card account but without it necessarily trusting you to pay them back they're kind of like eh we don't know if we want to give her a card but if she puts up $300 we'll give her this card and if she doesn't pay her back we'll just take her $300 it's mainly like a deposit so that's basically what that particular thing means, what I just said about reducing the times you have to prepay for products. The next one would be it allows you to obtain better interest rates and uh, credit terms for lenders and banks. So it allows you, and that's pretty self-explanatory, um, the more on time you pay your bills, the more or the better your business credit gets and things like that, the better, better interest rate you will get when it is time to take out those uh, particular loans. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering like, okay, cool, that's all the good stuff about having business credit. So tell me exactly how to get this good business credit that you're speaking of. So some ways that you can get good business credit is by incorporating your business. And that basically means a lot of the times when um, people open businesses they open up a DBA which is doing business as and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the legal legitimacy of your business I want you guys to check out this video right here I'm also going to leave it tagged below as well but it goes over all the different legal terms and legal obligations and things like that that your business should have but um, with this particular step as far as building your building your business credit you want to make sure that your business is incorporated so from changing your business from a dba to an llc will give your business will allow your business to start to grow its own its separate entity and its own identity the next one is going to be obtaining a federal tax identification number which we all know is the ein number this it's very simple to get an EIN number. You can do it online and you can do it for free. So if you guys would like a video on how to get an EIN number from start to finish for free online, let me know. I want you guys to comment in the comment section and I want you guys to say yes and I'll know exactly what you're talking about. So if you want me to do an EIN number video where I go through all the steps with you guys to getting a free EIN number for your particular business I want you guys to right now comment in the comment section yes but uh, an EIN number is basically a social security number for your business it is required on federal tax forms and it's also required to opening up a, a bank account 
in the name of your business. And uh, an EIN number is, is very important and it's required with the IRS in order to comply with the IRS. The next one is going to be opening up a business bank account. Open up a business bank account with your legal business name. This is very important. And the thing is when you're opening up a credit card, you need to make sure you're paying it on time. You're paying back any outstanding transactions that you have. And the, the more you're paying your bills on times, the better your credit will be on, the better your credit will turn out over time. So don't forget that. Open up a, a, a business credit line and make sure you're paying them back. This is how it's gonna work. There's no secret to this sauce. You pay your bills on time, you get a better outcome. Now something else that would help help you better establish business credit is um, establishing a business phone number. So whether you're using a landline, a cell phone, or you have a VOIP, um, having a separate number for your business is important. And then once you do have that number, you can then insert that number in different li listings or directories um, so that your particular business number can be found. Now, I know I mentioned something about, about a VOIP. And for those of you who have no idea what a VOIP is, it's basically uh, it's basically short for Voice Over Internet Protocol, and it's basically a voice messaging system. And just so you guys know for sure, in case I am not explaining it better, I'm just going to read you guys the definition of a VOIP. A VOIP is short for Voice Over Internet Protocol. Voice Over Internet Protocol is a category of hardware and software that enables people to use the internet as the transmission medium for phone for telephone calls by sending voice data. It's basically just a system that you can use in order to set your business up with the phone number. So moving on, the next thing that you would need in order to start establishing good business credit is opening up a business credit file. And that's what we spoke about in the beginning of this video when I talked about making sure you're paying your bills on time. So opening up a, a business credit file with three businesses that do report back to Experian, Equifax and also TransUnion and that is very important if you're opening up these business lines make sure they're reporting to not one not two but all three of the uh, biz of the credit bureaus. The next thing that I do want to shed light on is the most important thing and it's making sure you're paying your bills on time. This is very important. So if you spend $400, $5,000, $5, $50,000, you need to make sure that you're on track with your bills. You need to make sure that you're paying them back accordingly. Um, and if let's say for some reason you can't make that one payment, you know, things do happen. I do understand that. But let's say you can't make that one payment, make the minimum payment. So if, if for some reason you owe them $150, but they'll let you pay $25 with an interest rate, pay that $25 just so that they don't, you know, report something negative over to the uh, Better Business Bureau. But you guys know that lately, these videos that I've been doing, I've been making chronological either workbooks, spreadsheets, indexes, all type of things to help you guys get a lot, a little familiar or um, more, allow you guys to understand these videos even more so what i did was because this video was all about properly budgeting your business properly uh making account for your business paying your bills things like that so i basically designed a business account ledger and as you guys see i just shifted to this side a little bit but right here i'm going to put across the screen the business account ledger that i've personally been using for the past few weeks and it is actually super awesome typically i use quickbooks but it's really nice to have something hard copy that i can look at to see exactly what's coming and going within my business so how it works is you can see the different ca uh, categories throughout this particular particular ledger from assets all the way to liabilities to operating revenues operating expenses non-operating expenses business loans and so much more so this spreadsheet will definitely help you keep account for everything that is going in and out of your business it'll help you keep track of profit versus loss within your business 
Uh, it also keeps track of your website maintenance, your website fees, SEO, and so much more. So if you guys are interested in downloading this particular ledger you can click the link right in the description box it'll be the very first link for you you can download it to any device and then from there you can go ahead and print it out you can have a hard copy because once it's time to file your taxes and things like that that you'll have all of this stuff down and the cool thing about this particular ledger it goes by periods there's four periods in a year it's everything is labeled as far as monthly goes in for the entire 12 entire 12 months you would just be using this one particular paper because everything is organized for you everything goes by a monthly base um everything goes by monthly base and period base as you can see period one goes from january february march period two goes from april may june and then so forth so if you guys have do so like I said, if you guys do want to download this particular ledger, it will be right in the description box for you. And I can guarantee you it would help you stay organized with your business. But I hope this video was super informative for you guys. And if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at amanijelena at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at amanijelena because that's where I post my motivational information and also that's where I go to to post any last minute thoughts that I have about business and business etiquette and starting a business and business development and lastly that's where I communicate with a lot of you guys so I love you and you guys will see me in my next video and I will talk to you later bye